what would you do if you went to the nail salon and asked for this but got this? In today's video I'm going to be reacting to this series of short videos that this creator made about the nails that she got and the process she went through in fixing them. This is in no means meant to shame or discredit this person. We're just using it as like a teaching tool. We can see what she did and how she could have done it better, what she could have done to get the outcome that she wanted. So let's go to past me who recorded these reactions and get this show on the road. So foist up, here we go. Hey everyone, so I just spent three hours in the nail salon for an almond French tip. <laughs> I just have to laugh because what are these? Does that look like a French tip to you? No. And I showed them a picture on Pinterest, on fucking Pinterest. Hold on. They said, oh, you want a French tip? I said, yes. They said, okay, show me a picture. <laughs> this is the picture I showed them. Does that look similar to you? It, <gasps> it looks like they ran out of, it looks like they ran out of polish. They go, they look like baby teeth. They literally look like baby teeth. And these, these are the nails. I leave tomorrow. These are the nails I'm going to meet my boyfriend's family with. Like, <laughs> no, I don't know what to do. Oh, sweet thing. <laughs> oh, she's funny. She makes me laugh. And I feel, I feel bad for her. Those are terrible nails. So first of all, before we even get into the French tip situation, the shaping on them isn't ideal. They're sort of wide and thick and like, there, there definitely could have been a little bit more shaping, a little bit more narrowing, a little bit, you know, tighter. It's, it's thick. It doesn't look nice. The shaping in and of itself isn't superb. That isn't even her biggest concern, though. <laughs> oh, sweet thing. That is, in my opinion, not a French tip. That is a white nail with a negative space half moon. That's what that is. That is not a French tip. I do think, and I believe, if I remember correctly, she does mention it quickly in one of her other videos, which we'll get to in a second. They used a white tip. If your nails aren't bitten, if they're longer, that can work okay. The smile line is generally not very curved. These ones are definitely geared more toward the Y2K really thick, really flat French nails. And if that's your vibe, I'm not shading you. Go off, enjoy what you enjoy. On her nails though, and I believe she says it in another video as well, she has bitten nails. She bites her nails. They're very short. Like you put it right on the edge of the existing nail, right? So if we put that tip here, it wouldn't be super strange. Her she has bitten down to like half of what my nail is essentially. So they're putting the tip here, gluing it here, and then putting the acrylic over it. So there was like no skill involved in this French tip whatsoever. They literally, it seems like, just glued a white tip onto her really short bitten nails and then put, I'm assuming, acrylic over it. That's why <laughs> they look like baby teeth. That's why they don't look like a French tip at all. And like a lot of different techs use the glue on plastic tips to put the product over like excellent reputable techs use these. This isn't a don't go to a salon if they use these tips. Lots of different techs use them. That was a poor choice on the tech's behalf sticking that white tip on. And that was like pretty trendy for a short period of time. You would get like Louis Vuitton uh, pattern ones, all different colored ones. It was a thing for a short time. But prior to that, when I was getting my nails done, it would just be an airbrush French. They would have a little template, put it on the nail, give it a little airbrush, top coat, and you're good to go. I don't know why that tech or that salon didn't do that. And also she said it was a three hour appointment. That's unacceptable in my opinion. They didn't do anything except glue those tips on, shape them poorly, put acrylic over the top to build the structure it, poorly, and then top coated. 
I don't know why that took three hours. Maybe there was a wait involved. Maybe she had to sit and wait for an hour. I don't know, but I don't, that should not have taken that long. In my opinion. <laughs> I, maybe it's a newer tech. I, that's possible. There's three more, three more of her videos left. So let's go on to her next one. It's a little later in the day, but I'm finally gonna try to do this. I'm gonna make it very clear. I've never been able to paint nails. I can't do nails, never have been able to. Even painting them, I cannot. So I'm just gonna try to do this firsthand, see how it turns out, and I'll keep y'all updated. Okay, I shook up the bottle. I'm gonna just start with my, actually, I'm gonna start with my pinky. Um, but just to address some of the questions, why did I not say anything? Because I was scared and also it had taken three hours. Like I did not have the time to just sit there uh, like for another while. Also, sorry, I shake. Okay, wait, why am I slaying? Yes! That's so much better, okay. Um, also people were asking why like my nail beds wow i'm shaking why my nail buds are so red um it's because woo, literally since oh shit literally since i can remember i've just been like i peeled my cuticles bite my nails all of that so they just over the years like literally i'm 17 over the years they just have kept scarring and they're really red okay i'm just gonna pause it there quickly uh for first of all she is a <laughs> she's applying that polish way too thick that's going to take days to dry <laughs> and it's dripping all over her skin there are tons of tutorials on how to like properly apply prop polish but basically what you want to do is as you pull it out of the jar you want to wipe off at least one side possibly even get that little extra there's usually a little extra drip that's coming off the brush you want to wipe off the one side and then catch that extra drip before applying it to the nail and now with regular polish you can apply it a little bit thicker than gel polish because it doesn't need to cure under a lamp so no light needs to penetrate it but you still want to put it on in relatively thin coats so that it can dry she's getting full coverage in one coat but she's that's like three coats worth of polish in one go Oh, sweet thing. She did, she did preface it by saying that she has zero nail skills and cannot paint nails or anything. I'm not, I'm not shaming her for it. <laughs> it's cute. It's sweet. She's trying. Just for like people who are watching this, don't put your nail polish on that way. Put it on in thinner coats. Let those coats dry and then put on a second coat. Generally, when you're using regular polish, you can get through all 10 nails. And by time all 10 nails are you've painted all 10 nails, you can start back at the first finger you started with and it's dry enough to put on your second coat. Oh, cause like she, she will end up with sheet marks in her nails. This could be 10 o'clock in the morning and she will end up with sheet marks on her nails when she goes to bed because it's so, so thick. And then also the second thing I wanted to address before we continue this portion of her video is she mentions like how red her nail bed is underneath the massive French tip. And she says that it's because she peels her cuticles and bites her nails. It's possible. It's hard to say, although I wouldn't be surprised if based on the look of these nails that the tech didn't do safe or proper prep. I'm just putting that out there. But it's not uncommon for people to just have sensitive nail plates and when there's more pressure applied, when there's filing involved, when there's product put on top, sometimes they do redden. So do with that what you will. Let's continue. And then are my nail beds small? I bite my nails, so yes, they're small, small, but they're not that fucking small. Like, that's probably half of my nail bed. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, this is how it's looking. Um, I'm just gonna let it dry and then clean up around with a nail polish remover, but it looks a lot better. Okay, another question I got was, Kenzie, why did you pay for those? Okay, her table? The <laughs> Those polish drips, put down a magazine. Do people still read magazines? Put down some, a flyer you got in the mail, a newspaper, just a piece of printer paper. Put something down on the surface you're working on, even paper towel or something. Just put that down to catch any drips that you might have. But like, she should have brought the, <laughs> she should have brought the bottle closer to where she was working. So it was all within you know, a few inches of each other. And again, if you're wiping off the excess polish and catching those little drips in the bottle, you won't have a disaster like this. Also, I just wanted, she already 
mentioned it earlier in the video, like why didn't she say anything? Because it already took three hours and she didn't want to wait there any longer. Still say something. You still should, if you are unhappy with how your nails end up looking, whether in her situation, another situation, you don't like the shape, you don't like something about your nails, as soon as you notice that you don't like something, say something. If you see something, say something. Come on and party tonight. Most texts will be happy to get this information. Maybe it's something they didn't realize they were doing. Maybe there was a miscommunication. Say something, say something immediately. The first nail that you happen to glance at and it's, oh, the shape you don't like, <laughs> the French tip is too thick, whatever the situation, say it right away so that you can stop the service, they can fix the errors and continue on the rest of the 10 nails with the fixed process. If you wait until the very end, then you're going to run into circumstances like this where you've been sitting there for however many hours and you don't want to sit there any longer to have it fixed. Say it right away. Just ask the question, um, are they going to be this thick? Um, are they going to be this shape? Whatever your concern is, say it right away. The tech will either be able to explain to you why it looks that way and what they're going to do like what the process is like, oh no, don't worry, I still have to do a second coat. Don't worry, I'm going to finish file. We can tighten up the shape then. Okay, compared to the photo that you showed me, this French tip is too thick. We'll take that off and start over again. It will make the appointment go that much smoother. You'll end up happy and you won't have to feel like you have to sit there for another two hours while they fix it or like they just put all this time and effort into doing your nails that now you feel bad saying something, say something. I beg of you as a nail tech and all of the nail techs I know and all of the hairstylists and tattoo artists and all of the service providers I know, we want you to say something right away. Even if you think it's a silly question, ask right away, please. Um, because I just, I wasn't gonna walk out and pay. I mean, walk out and not pay. Just because I feel like that's disrespectful. Like, yes, does it look like shit? Yeah, 100%. But also, they did a service. It took them three hours. They could have done somebody else and made money. So I'm not going to do that at the expense of the business. Okay, so I don't know if you missed it, but she's talking about why she paid for the service. And that's very respectable of her. I know a lot of people who would, at the very end of the service, be like, oh, I'm not happy with these. I'm not paying. And like she said, that was three hours of their time where they could have taken somebody else who was going to pay. So she paid for the service. So I really respect that about her, that she was like, no, I took up her time. The least I can do is pay for the service. She understands the service industry. I'm guessing her or somebody she knows has worked in service in some kind, whether it be waiting tables or in the service industry or in customer service in some degree and she she understands she gets it side note this was meant to be part of an entire full reaction video but i had so much to say about these few videos that she made that it became its own video so if you're interested in seeing just a regular nail reaction video subscribe because that's going to be coming up in a few days maybe a week um something else they did 10 fingers and you watched them do it yes i'd never had white acrylic tips put on so i was confused i was like oh maybe they're gonna line over it with like a nude paint i was horribly mistaken okay so she answers the question why did you let them do all 10 fingers before you even like why why didn't you say something right away that's why you need to ask right away if you look and you are unhappy with something ask right away okay this isn't what i asked for what's the process here and yes she confirmed that they were acrylic tips which i think she means they glued the tip on and then went over it with acrylic but she did say she's like i had never experienced a white tip before i didn't know what they were going to do so i just trusted the process and that was a mistake ask always ask point out what is making you feel uncomfortable ask what their process is and go from there if they say oh no this is what it's going to look like then be like oh no 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 no. Okay. we're going to take this off and do a clear and i would just want that you know what i mean um like i said i'm not a nail tech i'm not a nail designer i'm not a nail artist none of the sort how would i know i don't so like i had never had this done before so i was just trusting the process I'm never trusting the process again. Did you see the, the clumps, the drips on her? Like they were, they were thick. That was a thick blob of polish on her nail. Oh, girly girl. I'm gonna let these dry while I get um, nail polish remover for the table. We don't have fucking nail polish remover. Oh my God. 
I looked fucking everywhere. This is awful. Hold on. Okay, wait. I got alcohol. Shit. Hold on. Oh my. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna go with hydrogen peroxide. I don't know what I'm doing. Do I need a toothbrush? Okay. Okay, I got a cleaning toothbrush and my the pink stuff. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! 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 Okay, I don't know what is in that pink stuff that it would um, take partially dried polish off of what looks like a wood table. Don't use acetone to remove that. You would remove any finish that's on that table. Gone in a second with acetone. Put something down. Or be very careful, work in a very close proximity, like your hand and the bottle and the brush, all in a very close proximity. And if you do happen to drop polish onto the surface that you're working on, with a paper towel, just wipe it up while it's still wet right away. You could potentially wait until it's dry and then like scrape it off, but then you're gonna risk scraping the surface that you're working on. It may not come off. Put something down. Work neater, work in thinner coats. I don't know what is in that pink stuff that it removed that though. She also did use a toothbrush and the polish wasn't fully dry. Like it was so thick that there was, like you could see as she was wiping it away, it was just like the outline that was like sort of dried. So that might've been easy to sort of work off, but don't use acetone on surfaces like that. Um, <laughs> also, she doesn't have any acetone and she, I don't know if you saw the state of her fingers, but she doesn't have any acetone or nail polish remover. Okay, next part. Okay, this is part two. Um, if you don't know, we don't have nail polish remover, and I think the acetone is in the shop, which is armed. So I'm just gonna have to, you know what? Maybe alcohol will work on this. Oh wait, that's kind of peel. It peels off. Shut up. When did this happen? Okay, so the reason that it's peeling off, it looks like she's using like a dental pick or something. And the reason that it's peeling off of her skin is because one, your skin has oils on it. So it's going to essentially repel the polish. And because it's so thick, it's easier to peel off, which also means it's going to be easier to peel off her nails or the acrylic nails. If it was done in thinner coats and you got it on your skin, it wouldn't necessarily peel off as easily. It still would eventually peel off, especially if you like moisturized and oiled your hands once your nails were dry, it would have worked its way off. And everybody who's ever painted their nails knows that if you let them dry and then shower like the next day or something, it's just gonna come off in the shower. You'll just be able to sort of rub it off in the shower. So she could have just waited and showered or washed her hands, lots of moisturizer, and it would have come off. Oh no. From scrubbing the table. You know what? I give up. I'm taking it all off. I'm taking it all freaking off. Okay. <laughs> Part of me thinks that this is rage bait because like you can't honestly think that like you have to, did she actually think that she'd be able to scrub the table and not damage the polish that she put on her nails? Did she, girl, what is happening? It takes, it's air drying. It takes time. It takes hours to fully dry. You're like safe to like kind of do things after, you know, maybe half an hour, depending on, no, not in her case, cause it was so freaking thick, but like, in general, after about half an hour to an hour, you can like safely like, you know, go to the bathroom or make something to eat, although be careful. It takes, it truly for regular nail polish lacquer to completely dry, it takes hours. Which is why like a lot of people joke about polishing their nails in the afternoon and they still get sheet marks when they wake up in the morning. It takes hours hours. <laughs> Obviously there are like quick dry and like there's top coats and there's different things that you can do to get them to dry faster, but it takes hours. So I, <sighs> she did say she's 17. So her life experience is limited. Like she's 20 years younger than me. So, but did she not have any, oh, and like, here's the thing, like she's filming this to put on TikTok. Did she not just do a quick search? Just, oh, there are so, I have so many questions for this person. This is a joke. Oh. 
Oh no. Okay, it's fine. I'll paint over that one. I'm not taking it off. I'm just gonna fix these. Her like wiping it with the paper towel isn't completely insane because if you polish your nails and they're still really wet, you could completely remove the majority of it just by wiping it off. There's even people who will put new polish over top of old polish, let it sit for a second and then wipe the entire thing off because it almost like reactivates the dry polish. So that's not entirely insane, but then she's like trying to scrape it off with a dental floss pick thing and oh sweet thing. My at home nail polish remover is a combination of hydrogen peroxide, alcohol, and the pink stuff. Is that safe? Probably not, but it's the concoction I had around from cleaning the table when I got nail polish all over it. This is not a good situation at all. I don't know what the chemical reaction, what happens if you mix hydrogen peroxide and alcohol. I am not sure. I don't know, like it might off, like I don't know. I didn't look into it. I don't know what happens. And the piss, she's using the pink stuff on her nails and skin. I don't know what's in that, but it removed dry polish from a table. So don't, don't. Don't mix chemicals, even if they're household, even if one is safe or both are considered safe, like peroxide and rubbing alcohol. Both of those separately are very safe, but sometimes you mix something with something else and they are no longer safe. So just do not do that. You know what? I give up. I give up. I'm going to the store and getting nail polish remover. She looks so defeated. I, I Like I said, I don't know if this is actually rage bait or if she is just truly that confused and that unaware of nail polish and like how it works. But she looks very defeated and very frustrated and very upset. So I definitely feel for her if it's real. I definitely feel for her. It's definitely stressful. Like we've all been in situations like that where you're like, okay, this didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it, but it's okay, I can fix it. And all you do is make it worse and make it worse and make it worse and make it worse until you literally have nothing left. You just either have to start over or deal with the mess that you've made. We've all been there. We've all been in situations like that. And like, she's only 17. That's when you make mistakes like this, right? Now she knows. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think this is the last one of her videos. Okay guys, so this is the final part. I did what I could to... Sorry, I don't want anyone to hear me. I did what I could to fix my nails. Uh, I just ended up taking the paint off with acetone because it was so thick and clumpy and it was just terrible and I just, it was a wreck. I should have asked the salon to fix it to begin with. I should have said something. I should have gone back, but I didn't. So I just took off the paint that I did and then I put some like nail stickers on that were like beachy. So this is the final result. Hold on. Okay, listen, it's not as terrible as it could be once she put those nail stickers on. Like, is it a French tip? No, absolutely not. But when she put those nail stickers on, it almost looked intentional that it was just like a negative space half moon. And the nail stickers are cute. I hope she put a top coat over them because I can't see them lasting more than a, like at most a couple days. And then also using the nail polish remover slash acetone to remove the lumpy clumpy dry polish that she put on very possibly could have removed whatever top coat was over top of the acrylic. So just for extra protection and extra shine, I would have hoped that she did a top coat, but honestly, they don't look that bad uh, in comparison. Like she tried, she did her best. Those nail stickers are cute. High five girl, you did what you could. You made them a little bit better. Anyway, y'all, that kind of sums up the journey. If you learned anything from this, speak up. Don't be scared because you don't want to be in this situation. Don't try to fix nails. Go back, get your money's worth. Speak up. Like, you don't want to be stuck in a situation to where you try to fix it on yourself and it just, it will not work. Take it from me. Anyway. Yes, speak up. Like I said, right away, as soon as you see something that might be questionable, ask. So I'm it sucks that she is now meeting her boyfriend's mom and it seems like possibly going on a vacation or something with these nails. Don't try to fix it yourself. Just speak up.
Oh, sweet little thing. All right, so that's it for today's video. Let me know what you would do if you ran into this issue down in the comments below and what you think she should have done or could have done differently to have a better outcome in her situation. Let me know in the comments below. Also, you can just leave a comment down below even if you have nothing to say about her situation or this video in general. It just helps the algorithm. So you can just like leave any comment you really want. It's helpful. <laughs> you can also give this video a thumbs up if you want to help it out or me or if you liked it. That's helpful. And you can subscribe if you want to. I'm not forcing you to. If you want to subscribe, it is free. And then that way you'll get notified when I upload new videos and you won't have to like search me out or just happen to see it in your scrolling. It'll be there for you. Especially because like I said, there's going to be another reaction video, like just a regular, degular reaction video coming in probably about a week or so. So subscribe so you don't miss it. And I will see you then. Bye.